companies terminate employees for a variety of reasons, but some people are fired for the most ridiculous reasons. Some behaviour just calls for immediate dismissal, and in today's video you're going to see the top 20 employees that were exposed and dismissed for doing some of the dumbest things ever. Ryanair dismisses cabin crew After being captured on camera sleeping on the floor of an airport in Spain, Ryanair's personnel management system dismissed six staff. Storms in the Portuguese city of Porto caused a number of Ryanair aircraft to be grounded in Malaga, Spain, according to The Guardian. Security cameras at the airport, according to CNN, recorded footage of a number of crew members posing for the shot. They went into a sleeping postures freely, then stood up and kept wandering about after the shot was taken, and the result of that action is the immediate termination of all of the staff involved. Delivery Driver This delivery person pulls up to a house, delivers packages to the front door, and then stumbles over a pumpkin that was part of a Halloween display. What follows is both alarming and terrifying. He begins to demolish the entire show. Just as you think he's calmed down enough to go, his pent-up rage bursts forth, destroying even more of the show. He walks the deck of the property owner, knocking stuff over and kicking pumpkins left, right, and center. Well, the company seems to dislike those with anger issues and can't take jokes well, so they fired him. Dumb Daycare Workers A daycare worker and a manager in Virginia were dismissed in 2013 after another employee shared frightening photographs of toddlers under their care on the Instagram profile. A dejected-looking two-year-old in a high chair was one of the photographs that were posted, and it was captioned by the manager, He's thinking since short can't talk. This was in reference to the child's delayed speech development. Due to his projecting front teeth, another child's photo was shared and compared to Mater from the film Cars. Finally, when one of those children's parents saw the photographs, they were enraged and the employees were forced to leave. Burger King Foot Lettuce An anonymous social media user submitted a photo of himself standing in two lettuce containers with his shoes on. He identified himself as a Burger King employee and stated that this is the letter served at Burger King. Although the snapshot did not identify the user's name or the location of the establishment, too bad for him he didn't realize the origin of the photo could still be traced regardless. The eatery was swiftly identified. They utilized the image data to show that it was shot at the Burger King in Mayfield Heights, Ohio. Some online users then found local news sites and the management of the Burger King franchise. He was kicked out. Public Tweet for Drugs Sonnet Batacada nearly seemed to want to get fired when he went on Twitter searching for a drug dealer to deliver narcotics to his job. Any dealers in Vaughan to come to Kaoliang staff Mr. Lube, said the public tweet. After a few days, the man realized he hadn't made the best decision by putting his request in a tweet. The York Regional Police Department retweeted it, saying, Great, can we come as well? The mechanic promptly lost his job and perhaps his appetite. Selfies with dying patients Tatiana Kulikova worked as a paramedic in Kierov, Russia, and took selfies with dying patients. She was happy with her job. If by job we mean snapping pictures with unconscious and dying patients in the ambulance and sharing them on Instagram. She also added useful descriptions and titles as well as striking imaginative positions. In one shot, she is flipping the bird at a man who'd been in a vehicle accident, which she dubbed another moron. How I detest my work, she captioned another shot of a man suffering a heart attack. Fortunately, she no longer has the job. The Blackface Halloween Costume Two white guys called William Filene and Greg Semino decided to team up on a really inappropriate Halloween costume. One was allowed to dress up like their racial vigilante hero, while the other had to wear blackface. Caitlin Semino, a mother of two from Massachusetts, then posed with the two jerks and shared the sickening photo on Instagram. A Facebook user with the name Stop Blackface on Halloween contacted her workplace and was told she'd already been fired. The Jeb Bush Employee Ethan Zaho, who worked for Jeb Bush's political action organization Right to Rise, was the chief technology officer. Over several unpleasant tweets, he was compelled to resign. Employee management at the community began removing the social media trail he had left behind, but it was too late. There'd been screenshots captured. Zaho went on to create an app that monitors social media accounts for stuff that may get you fired or compel you to quit. 
Well, what is more qualifying as a distinctly American twist? It's such a befitting endeavor as he would know better. Paula Dean does it again. Paula Paula. Paula Dean is the most racist celebrity chef of all time, or at least the most racist celebrity chef that we're aware of. Dean lost partnerships and relationships with the Food Network, Smithfield Foods, Walmart, Target, QVC, JCPenney, Sears, Kmart, and her then-publisher, Valentine Books, after it was exposed that she was a racist slur fan. The Huffington Post looked back at a Times Talk Dean speech from 2012. She emphasized in the discussion that black people were such an important part of our life during the Civil War that they were like family to us. African Americans were referred to as these people and employees by her. JetBlue Flight Attendant Stephen, a JetBlue flight attendant, was getting ready for a trip from Pittsburgh International Airport to JFK International Airport in 2010. The customer slammed their suitcase against his head and refused to apologize. Stephen's brain flicked a switch right away. He yelled at the passenger over the speaker, then grabbed two beers from the galley before exiting the plane using the emergency evacuation chute. The truth is he knows that he was also disembarking from his career. He was eventually arrested and understandably dismissed from his work. Coin Flip Arrest Two Roswell police officers were fired in 2018 after they used a coin flip app to decide whether to arrest or release members of the public. The two were placed on administrative leave right afterwards but were dismissed a few weeks later. It all began when they responded to a complaint about reckless driving. They stopped a woman driving a Mercury Sable who said she was late for work. They said A for heads and R for tails on the coin toss app. The letters A and R stand for arrest and release, respectively. We hope that their dismissal serves as a deterrent to the unjust treatment of the public. Cop steals from Goodwill A surveillance camera caught a police officer swiping items given to a charity store in 2012. He was seen on film loading some of those goods into the back of his police car. Just after 10pm, he pulls up to the Goodwill door, inspects the contents of the bags, opens the rear and loads a few items into his car. Before the inquiry could be completed, the officer in issue opted to retire. He saved his behind and perhaps learned a valuable lesson. The Racist Assistant After allegedly posting derogatory words against the then First Lady on her Facebook page, a Georgia schoolteacher's assistant was dismissed. The Forsyth County School District fired Jane Wood Allen for repeated tweets in which she referred to Michelle Obama as a gorilla. This poor gorilla, Allen allegedly wrote, how is she going to function in the real world by not having all of her luxurious vacations paid for anymore? Alan had stopped assisting at the school by morning. Domino's Employee Imagine eating into a slice of pizza that has a nose blown on it by a Domino's employee. In 2009, two staff were sacked when they were caught in the act after video evidence of them carrying out some fairly awful deeds on pizza was uncovered. The two employees working at a North Carolina Domino business were also facing criminal charges. They sneezed and blew their noses on salami. They even shoved cheese up their nostrils, which they later utilized in customers' dinners. They were jailed on a $7,500 bail. Radio Jockey tweeted a dirty joke. After his beloved Dallas Mavericks were upset by the San Antonio Spurs, Former Major League pitcher turned radio personality Mike Baxick had a Twitter meltdown. What is his contribution to the discussion? Congratulations to all of San Antonio's filthy Mexicans. For his racist statement, Sports Radio 310, the tickets first suspended him indefinitely, then dismissed him. Baxick expressed regret after informing ESPNDallas.com, Obviously, I made a huge error. My behavior was horrible and dumb. But he was primarily to blame. You can't notice the irony when you tweet as I did. It isn't a funny joke. That's impossible to discern if it was true hatred or sarcasm. Gold miners shaken off. Australian gold workers have been sacked for doing the Harlem Shake underground. Up to 15 workers from an Australian mining company were sacked after they did an underground rendition of the Harlem Shake and uploaded it online. This was their second internet dancing craze incident which raised safety worries. The staff captioned the video, a bit of fun, after it was seen thousands of times. As the mining owner, Barmenko, stated they violated their basic principles of safety, ethics and excellence, which cost them their jobs. KFC workers fired 
In 2008, three teenage KFC employees learned their lesson the hard way. They shared a photo on MySpace of them utilizing a KFC restaurant's dishwasher as a hot tub. The three females who were working without a manager completed their night by filling the sink in the Anderson, California business with water and stripping down to their bikinis. They went into the sink and snapped selfies, which they subsequently posted on the internet for all to see. Ha ha ha, KFC showers, they captioned the photo. Human resources management sacked the females as a result. Rookie Anchor AJ Clement's first day on the job at KFYR Television in North Dakota turned out to be his last. The anchors seemed to be suffering from a severe attack of nerves, which could not have been much worse. Clement took to Twitter shortly after the program began, cursing live on camera. He was placed on leave and later sacked. He didn't realize his microphone was on when he pronounced the F and S words seconds before anchor Van Tu announced him as the station's newest member of the news team. What a mastery of anger management. Which of these surprised you the most? Do you have any examples of this? Please let us know in the comment section below. If you loved it, please give it a huge thumbs up and offer us some love in the comment section. To stay up to speed with all our fantastic videos, subscribe and turn on your alerts. Take care of yourself till next time.